This is Matt and this is a video on converting M4A files into MP3 files. So in order to actually do this conversion, what I recommend is you get this free software called Shutter Encoder. So you can find Shutter Encoder at shutterencoder.com as I'm showing you here on the screen. And I will include that link below this video in the video description. So you can just click on that link and go directly to this page. So you'll find on the Shutter Encoder page, uh, this is the main page, if you click on Downloads, it takes you to the bottom of the page and you see that we have a Windows option and a Mac OS option. So I'm on Mac OS. I would go for the Apple Silicon version in this case, uh, but you have a few other options as you can see right here. So the software is free. Uh, you can also do a donation of your chosen amount if you uh, if you feel the need to, and I recommend that you should, but the software itself is absolutely free. So that is a short introduction to Shutter Encoder. So let's hop on over to the software itself. So I've got uh, Shutter Encoder open right here. So the first thing you need to do is come up to the top left and we're going to browse. And I've got this pre-prepared folder here with some conversion projects that I've been working on and I've got the M4A file right here. So M4A is an audio format, if you're not familiar. Uh, it's usually kind of extracted from an M4, um, M4 an MP4. So it's uh, considered an Apple kind of proprietary format. So we're doing M4A to MP3 right here. So with the M4A open, we're going to click on open and that will open it here. So this is a really simple software. So there's lots of ways in the same way that you could with a uh, software, free software like Handbrake, you can kind of fine tune things. Uh, Shutter encoders is exactly the same. There's kind of standard presets that you can use to make your uh, job uh, a lot easier, a lot more straightforward. But up here in the audio sec uh, settings section, you can kind of fine tune things and really get uh, granular and detailed with things right here. So the first thing you need to do once you've actually opened your desired file here is we're going to come down to choose function. So we want to make sure uh, that in this case, MP3, MP3 itself is selected. So there's a ton of other different, as you can see, there's loads of different options we've got right here for output. But the one we want in this case is MP3, just looking for it here. So MP3 is selected. So I recommend you go with 320. Uh, for a lot of recordings, 192 is probably recommended. If you're going for really high quality tutorials uh, or you're, uh, I know, sort of recording a song or something, you have song audio maybe, uh, music, you might want to go with 320. So I feel like let's go 320 because why not? So we're going to select that there. I'm going to leave all of this absolutely as it is. As I said, you can fine tune things and you can uh, kind of move uh, these around uh, to really fine tune your output, but it's not really necessary in general. And then all you're going to do, once you've actually selected MP3 and you've gone for your desired bit rate right here, we're just going to click on start function. Now I've already got an MP3 from a previous operation here, so I can choose to overwrite, keep, skip, or cancel. So in general, you're not going to need to do this, but I'm just going to go with overwrite right here. And just like that, within seconds, Shutter Encoder has done its thing. And you can see my original folder. Uh, we have an MP3 right here, which was created. There you go. It was modified even today at 2.14. Like I say, I did have an existing MP3 file here, which makes it slightly confusing. But this was the M4A and this is the converted MP3 file. So you can see that we're at 48 kilohertz for the uh, sample rate right here. And that will be a very good quality MP3 file uh, right there. So hopefully you have found this video, this short video on how to convert from M4A into MP3 useful for you. If it's been useful, drop this video a like, it really helps us and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Mm -hmm.